All right, so I'm making a short video about the water tank that we have in our truck for going to endurance rides. This is a 63 gallon water tank made by High Country Plastics. If you have a water tank in your horse trailer, it's probably a High Country Plastic if it's in the corner of your tack room or whatever. Um, so to find this, I went on High Country's website and I uh, got in touch with them and found who was the nearest dealer to me. And then I had that dealer special order this tank. And it's designed to sit in the bed of your truck. And it uh, can be up by the cab, like I've got it here, or it can be back by the end of your tailgate. And it's got that little dip in the middle to make it easier to get your gooseneck over. Now, what I did was uh, the the bottom spout right here where the water comes out uh, I just went over to Home Depot or Lowe's and I uh, found some of this hose in the plumbing section and just made a series of adapters to come off made a uh, threaded one this part right in here just threads on so I can undo that and uh, take it out if I want to drain the whole thing uh, and then a 90 degree angle that goes up and then on top this uh, top piece here is actually a storage compartment. It's designed to hold your hose and everything else. But mine doesn't open up as much because I've got this pump screwed down on top. And the hose just goes to give you the water intake. There's a uh, filter on the side of the pump. It's kind of all rusty. Uh, it doesn't really matter much for the horse water. Uh, these are actually quick connects to be able to take this all apart. And then an outlet hose going off the other side. And a roll of this hose at Home Depot was a uh, 10 foot section so after I cut off the pieces I end up with a little bit over eight feet left uh, on the discharge side now this water pump I got at a boating store I want to say it was probably at West Marine somewhere nearby me and it's just a fresh water washdown pump it's a 12 volt uh, water pump with a three gallon per minute flow rate and since this lid is just storage I screwed my pump straight down into it and when you buy it it's gonna come with just a, a DC pigtail I elected to use a power pole type connection, uh, which I use in amateur radio. It's also common in radio control vehicles and things like that. But what I did was I made a power pole connection so I can change around different types of connectors. And then I took just a regular AC type extension cord and cut one end and uh, used that as the pigtail. And I routed another end of an old extension cord through from the engine compartment uh, to come out the bed. So now, when I need to go and plug this in to give myself power uh, when I install this, hang on just a second. Now, my pump is all plugged in. My cord can go uh, down behind the, the back right there. Um, and then it just gets strapped in with the ratchet strap to the connection points in the corner of the bed of the truck. Now in order to uh, make sure that you're not going to run down the battery of your truck when you're using this, you certainly want to have your power, uh, have your truck running while you're using the pump. Um, but when we get to ride camp, we can take the hose, um, got one of these flexi hoses. Also at West Marine, that's a pro tip right there. The ones that are at the boating stores are much heavier duty than the ones you'll find at Home Depot and Lowe's and they'll actually last longer. This is a nice collapsible hose that expands out to 50 or 75 feet and then you can uh, go around and fill the buckets. If you've only got one horse, maybe you don't need this. Maybe this isn't a big deal. We've got a 39 gallon tank in our horse trailer, another 63 here, so about 100 gallons of water for when we get to ride camp. Since we're normally taking four horses, this makes a really big difference. The other big thing is when you take this uh, to the hold area to fill up your buckets to the hold area you can just park near the hold area use your hose and fill all your buckets up or if you're doing uh, somewhere where you're going along and um, you know mid ride meeting up with your uh, your riders at a way hold or something like that now you've got water you can use to spray down the horses if you need to or whatever um, now in the in the cab of the truck give me just a second and I'll show you this is a Ford so the Ford's Super Duties come with the accessory switches right here. Um, my AUX1 switch is actually for our remote tire pressure monitoring on the horse trailer. And I use the AUX3 switch and I think it was a, I want to say it was a 15 amp circuit, which is plenty for a three gallon per minute pump. If you don't have a truck that has the installed AUX switches, you can certainly add one. Uh, just screw it into your dash or you could just make it so that your connection is always hot and then just plug it in and unplug it as you're going to use it. Uh, that'll clearly wear your plug a lot more and make, make the risk that you'll get somewhere and it won't be able to work. 
you don't have to use a pump you can certainly get one of these tanks and just use gravity drain for the whole thing uh, the pump makes it a lot nicer to get the water where you need it to go so hope that helps